I would say for spare underwear. If you do that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? If not, snacks. If I'm doing a whole pie, this is gonna take me six months. Turn on Netflix, switch arms, tell your husband to assist if you want to wear a jog strap on your face. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I finally made it back to the Japanese dollar store. Number one, vacuum packed sweet corn for what? For travel, a road trip, airplane snack. When I first saw it, I thought it was gonna last forever because it's vacuum sealed. So I thought, ooh, they're gonna preserve it. I'm gonna be able to throw this in my doomsday backpack. But no, it has an expiration date, April of 2022. Now that I'm thinking about it and thinking through all the scenarios, it might work. Sometimes you're hungry and you need the whole fucking... <laughs> Sometimes a piece of bubble gum is just not gonna do. Sometimes you're in a Zoom call and you're like, listen, I have a couple questions like always. Cause you know, I was nosy, I gotta ask all the questions. Can I just eat it like that? Do I have to cook it? Cause in the back there are instructions and it looks like a microwave. They've put a sticker on it. I guess to tell you like the calories and the nutritional thingy. I guess in Japan, they don't need that. Really? How do you know how many calories you're getting if you're not putting that on the packaging? Somebody that lives in Japan, let me know. So if you're gonna put it in the microwave, you have to cut it. If you're gonna put it in a pot, I guess you could just drop it in like that. And I'm saying this just based on pictures because everything is in Japanese, but I also wanna try it while it's cold. It looks cooked, right? This is so dangerous because what if it's not, I was gonna say disinfected, but you know what I mean, raw. If I'm gonna survive naked and afraid, eating bugs, if I'm drinking creek water on the show that hasn't been boiled and I can stomach it, I should be able to stomach a piece of corn that's been vacuum sealed, right? Ooh, are you ready? Cause I opened it. I got so excited I opened it. It didn't go. You know when you open something that's vacuum sealed? Oh, cause I don't think I penetrated the vacuum seal part yet. I wanna open it like a bag of Doritos. Like if this is your first time here, welcome. I normally do a lot of Japanese dollar store, but I haven't in a minute cause thanks. But I say Japanese dollar store, but it's really a dollar fifty. It's not a dollar. It's a little bit more, a dollar and some change. You don't gotta get all technical. Oh, can we do this at home? Does somebody have a little machine. It's like the air out. Let me smell it. It smells like a can of corn. Is this how we're gonna eat corn in the future when we go up to the moon? Did you see that SpaceX, Elon is sending some people, regular humans, not astronauts, up to space. I can't wait to be next. <laughs> I ain't even lying. Now, what y'all gotta do is put a little, so I could just go like this. There's no juices. Does it not look like it's floating in juices in there? How cool is that? Let me inspect it to make sure there's nothing in it. I should wash it. I don't know how to eat it, but I'm tempted because it looks so pretty. It looks fake, doesn't it? Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh my God. Just one bite. Hey, this is a great snack. Two minutes in the microwave, it is piping hot. Do you see it steaming? I'm saying you don't even have to cook it. I mean, you can if you wanna be all bougie about it. It's just gonna be room temperature. That's not bad. That's what you do when you open this. Just a can of corn, open it up, eat it, not a big deal. They were only 150 each. That's a lot more than a can of corn. <laughs> it's the experience. A can of corn will even last you longer. This is just a, one of those, you wanna brag to friends that you have this. Or you wanna look funny on an airplane when you bust this out as a snack. You're kind of quirky, you're kind of funny. This is your kind of gag snack that you wanna carry with you in your pocket. So I'm gonna give the sweet corn four. Vivian Head. Number two, a little bottle drizzling attachment. They have the best kitchen gadget section. If this video hits 10,000 likes, I'm gonna do a video with just kitchen gadgets from Daiso. Most of their stuff, multi-purpose. This is one of them, how convenient. When you got a little bit of vinegar and you need to pour just a little bit, I don't know if it's gonna work on these jars. Automatically opens and closes when it's tilted. You're gonna get two of them for $1.50, that's pretty good. Tell me if Walmart sells this, you're a liar. They don't. For wine? <laughs> <laughs> All washed and my lover brought me my coquito. So I have some left. I'm telling you, I don't drink except on the show. Today we're drinking a little bit. It's just a sip. It's just to test my theory. If you're at a restaurant, hopefully not at a bar, I don't know, somewhere where you have a bottle. Tell me where else could you be at church? Taking a sip of some wine. When you're not sipping, you don't want germs getting in there. Fungalitis, it's in the air. So it closes on its own. You don't have to worry about it. We'll try that last because that's going to be the bonus gift. Okay, so it's not going to work on dressing too big. Water bottle. 
or if you're walking and you need a quick little sip, this is good for football games. Cause you know how the coach is trying to like give all the kids fucking a drink? And you're like, don't you dare let that water bottle touch my kid's lips. There's a fungalitis going around. Look at this technology. Is this what they use at the club, you know? And it's not dripping? Make them cute colors though. We don't need these basic ass colors. I need pink, I need blue, I need purple, I need yellow, I need some fluorescent colors, glow in the dark. You can push it. What about this? If we had dressing in here. Let's pretend. I'm saving this one for this because I don't want to contaminate it. Oh, <gasps> it fits perfect. This must be like a universal opening. Let's see. Yes, ma'am. Look at this. This is like what they use at the club. I've seen that when they come in with the wine bottles, like, choo, 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 you know? I want a party like that. Who's gonna throw me a party at the club so I can celebrate like that? You know, when you're cooking and you need to pour in a little bit more oil and then you pour in too much, this is gonna assist. It's a controlled pour. Ready? One, two, three, go. Why am I so impressed? This is a basic ass little gadget. But I love it because I never had one and I didn't know I could afford it. <laughs> I'm just saying it looks a little fancy because that's why Walmart don't carry it. Let me know if you've seen that Walmart. I haven't. Now the wine. And I'm not pouring wine in there. I'm gonna pour it straight into my mouth like they do at the club. Then you can put it back in the pantry or in the refrigerator. It's not gonna stink up the refrigerator because it's closed. I'm gonna go back. I need about three more packs so every bottle can have one. Okay, ready? I knew it. I knew it was gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna test it in here just real quick because I want to make sure it doesn't leak. No, oh, look at that magic happen. Look how beautiful that is. That's like a dream. Very satisfying. Don't let it touch your mouth. That's why it's a fun little attachment because everybody gets a little sip and nobody touches it with their mouth. Ready? One, two, three, go. I touched it with my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about it. This one's mine. This one's mine. The green one's Vivian's because she's already got lipstick on it. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. I touched you. <laughs> I'm gonna mess them all up. Y'all gonna have to get your own because I can't handle it. Christmas is coming up. Stocking stuffer. Isn't that cute for your friends? Only if they bring them in new colors. These colors are kitchen. I cook colors. Kind of boring, kind of dull. So I'm gonna give the little bottle attachments that I'm totally in love with that I'm gonna go back and get about six more packs. Five Vivian heads. Y'all win. Number three. Flat whisk. When you're not using it, it just lays flat like a knife. Doesn't take up a lot of room in your drawer because you can't close it anymore because you got so much shit in there that you've never used because you thought you were gonna bake. So you got a rolling pin and, and you don't need to use nothing but two things in there. Thing to scoop out the rice and one of those giant forks to turn the pork chops. That's all you use. Because why? Because all the damn whisks. This solves the problem. Daiso has the best kitchen gadgets ever invented because they're multi-purpose. How is this one multi-purpose? Well, can we use it for other things? Maybe we want to pick up something. There are instructions. Yeah, because you got to know how to rotate it like this. <gasps> Is this a knockoff of like Poppin' Chef? What are they called? Chef people, the one that MLM. What are they called? Master Chefs, Poppin' Chefs. I can't remember the name. Y'all know what it is. Run, don't walk. It is the perfect formed whisk. I thought it was going to be kind of wonky. Let's beat some stuff real quick. I need to know in the comments down below if you had seen this magical whisk before and you didn't tell me about it. We're no longer BFFs because y'all don't share the goodies with me. I share all the goodies with y'all. Okay, Daiso. Make this in like a couple different sizes for me because I like the little whisk, the little baby one. You know, for like eggs. This is for like a full blown out Martha Stewart cake like this. What? What were you saying? Five Vivian heads? I agree. Then you close it up, put it in the dishwasher. Now, you might wanna rinse it off first so that shit don't get stuck in between, but it's gonna save you space in the dishwasher too because it's flat. I mean, I guess you can wash it like this in the dishwasher, but why? Number four. The name on this is gonna get you points because it's genius. This thing is called Bag in a Bag for a Backpack. <laughs> Who's the smart ass that gave it this name? I love you. This one did not cost me 150. You can see there it says 300. I don't know what that means. I hope I didn't pay $4 for this. I should go look at the receipt, but it's like a bag organizer. It has a little clip here at the side. Belt buckles all day. Garage selling, cash, cell phones. Look at this. It even has like a little insulated for your soda pop, for your drinks. Here's my uh, YouTube backpack. 
that I got when I was flown out to YouTube headquarters. That's a fun fact if you did not know. What you do is you're gonna insert this into your backpack and then you have all your stuff organized in there. I bet you could put this in a purse whenever we get to go on that cruise. Perfect, it's gonna keep it nice and cool because it's insulated with that little aluminum in there. Uh, your phone, this attaches to your cell phone so you can make emergency calls to corporate. <laughs> They're gonna call you Karen. Goggles because protect your eyes, the fungalitis is still out there. Oh, it even has a zipper, hold on. I didn't even notice that we have a zipper, hello? For underwear. <laughs> I'll say for spare underwear. If you do that kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? If not, snacks. Gloves, your banana <laughs> for shits and giggles. That's gonna go in the zipper because that's a surprise gift for somebody. If you've been here long enough to know about this banana and all its secrets, <laughs> Raise your hand in the comments down below. Zip that shit right up. I pulled out the banana to give you size reference so you know what fits in that secret pocket. <laughs> Vivian, what you talking about? Let me buy a little strap so I can make it a crossbody. When I go garage selling all day, is that illegal? <laughs> I don't know, but strap that shit on, let's go, baby. I'ma say this one gave me a few surprises I wasn't expecting. So for those reasons, I'm gonna give this guy four Vivian heads. Number five, strawberry butter popcorn. This will fit in your purse when you try to go, you know what I'm saying? $1.50 or $17 for a big tub that y'all better refill to the max amount of times that they allow you. So expensive, you know where. I'm not even gonna say, cause I'm not giving people ideas on how to smuggle things in, but if you know, you know. And I had to buy it because I questioned the flavor combination, right? Strawberry, butter this might be a miss i haven't seen this combo before and there might be a reason because they don't go together but i'm gonna let you know daiso if you should discontinue this it smells <laughs> like old popcorn and rotten strawberries i'm sorry that's what i smell do you see it the pink ones are strawberry the yellow are dude if y'all would just do caramel and strawberries or chocolate do they make chocolate popcorn i don't know these look like the caramel ones where it's like a candy coating i'm gonna taste them separately and then i'm gonna taste them together and then i'll throw up <laughs> butter oh actually that's pretty good butter popcorn it's not bad mm, no i'm gonna take that back Mm, the strawberry is okay. It kind of tastes like strawberry milk. Try them together. I'm gonna take it back because the strawberry cancels out the butter flavor that I don't like. I wouldn't say go get some, run, don't walk. I I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say walk, take your time. Next time you're around town, maybe pick one up, share it between everybody in the family. But don't get everybody their own tub. So I'm gonna give the strawberry butter salt to Vivian Heads. Number six. If you're uncomfortable wearing your face mask and it like sticks to your face and you can't breathe or you like that airflow, you wear one of these. It looks like a jock strap. <laughs> That's the first thing that came to mind. Now, here's the gossip. As seen on television, people, they invented one of these called turtle, turtle something. Same thing, jock straps and it's green. That's why they're calling it the turtle. I guess because of the shape, they're selling theirs, I think for like 20 bucks. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it, even though some of you guys have requested it because I'm like, I'm gonna feel like a sucker if I buy that right there at the register at Daiso, $1.50. Easy decision if you wanna wear a jog strap on your face. If you're into that kind of stuff, I'll let you know if you should run and not walk. That's gonna be the phrase of the day because I'm gonna say it with every product. Okay, look at that. Wait a second. <laughs> and I've been suffocating with my mask this whole time and they make a brace for your face so you can breathe. Oh, it's comfortable too. It's very like lightweight. A plus on the plastic. It kind of feels like silicone, but just a firmer kind of silicone. <laughs> a little tip. You know, I always got free tips for my favorite folks over at Daiso. Can we get a couple little stick-ons, double-sided tape? I'm just impressed with the comfort of it, but is it gonna move? If I'm trying to run with my mask, is it gonna, I don't run, but if I did. Oh, I bet this is gonna work for makeup, right? Cause like right now, my lipstick is rubbing on my mask. Hmm. Okay, what do you think? That's not a cute look. Okay, wait, I have it backwards. <laughs> I have it upside, I had it upside down. Maybe it won't look like a jaw strap now. Very comfortable, roomy as hell. I don't mind it, but am I gonna go out of my way to find this in the car, it fell under the seat, it's at the bottom of my purse, am I gonna look for it? No. If you're claustrophobic, you hate the mask, you can't breathe in it, this might help. It's okay, for $1.50, listen, I'm not gonna cry about it. For $19.99, turtle turtle. Let's see, when you take your face mask off, then, <laughs> 
you got your jock strap still attached to your face. I'm not gonna say run, don't walk. I'm gonna say walk, take your time. So I'm gonna give this guy four Vivian heads. Number seven, meringue stick. It promises to make meringue. <laughs> Do you know what that is? It's like a the fluff, the egg white. They fluff it up and make like meringue. I guess it's a dessert. Ask a baker. It just promises to make egg whites fluffy and meringue. -y. Not technical, it's literally just a little plastic stick. Why complicate things? Simply put the egg white into a mug, got you. Insert the meringue maker, move it up and down in the egg white, that's it. <laughs> pies, desserts, pies. Place the product in the egg whites, jiggle it up and down. <laughs> Just a little bit, that's a song. When the meringue is ready, slowly lift it. Oh, it's also a carrier of the meringue. If you scoop it out, then you can flatten the meringue. Y'all have to take a class. Okay, underneath all your egg whites. Kind of, no? This is too much work. With one little egg white, if I'm doing a whole pie, this is gonna take me six months. Turn on Netflix, switch arms, tell your husband to assist. Your egg white omelet is gonna be delicious. Very fluffy. I don't know if we're gonna make it to the meringue stage. No, <laughs> I'm done. Girl, this is one of those you gotta work for your calories. Three Vivian heads. Number eight. Kitten name tags. How cute, I know it looks basic. For the kids, they're going to school, put the little name tags at a party. Put your name on stuff so people don't drink your drink. And it's gonna be a conversation starter. Now, I picked the cute kittens, but they had all kinds of different ones. In the back, suitcases, maybe, no? I love them because they're different. So people are gonna be able to touch your stuff. You're gonna be like, uh, ma'am, yeah, that's my kitten name tag. Drop it before I tackle you. So nobody steals your face jock strap. Don't touch it. Just the name tag, if you lose them at the mall, who goes to the mall anymore? That's a conspiracy theory that nobody's paying attention to. I know because of fungalitis, but malls are dying. Walking around the mall when your kids get loose. <laughs> if they just put your phone number. People are gonna be like, where'd you get those? I've never seen them before. Walmart well, didn't carry that. It's like, girl, I can't give you all my secrets, but it was Daiso. Watch Vivian try. She tries all kinds of quirky things. Your sister comes over and she's like, what is that fancy spatula? Did you get that at William Sonoma? Yep, sure did. Don't touch it. You take shit to a bake sale and then people start collecting and cleaning and they're like, no, 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 that's mine. So I'm gonna give the little name tags five Vivian heads and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Don't forget down below, let me know which of the new hoodie colors was your favorite.